everything's closed today, so I thought I'd stay home and get some show date videos done. <sighs> we'll see. So there's a lot of fucking story tickets, which I did not see. I know that Garden Me Sherlock, I am going to go live here on YouTube for it because I have a lot of story tickets to get rid of. But here, I only have a maximum of 10, I believe. I'll, I'll see when I end a story ticket. Ah! I'm in the middle of my sentence when it dawns on me. Tilla behaves with such a, a pathy that all the other staff consider him hard to get along with. And yet... Ah, that is a fucking mouthful. I get the feeling he's rather concerned about Paul. Thinking it strange, I feel compelled to ask to know. Oh, now I gotta get the shelly date but... Which is... Um, are you worried about Paul? You find Paul interesting, don't you? Okay, so, let's see. We'll go with this one. If not, then I guess I got... To fix everything and hurry with the side of the story. <sighs> Alright, so I'm a little curious. Are you worried about Paul? Don't be ridiculous. To a matter's back. I suppose that just upset him. Feeling guilty for letting my curiosity get the better of me, I try and shrug it off. How do you expect to react to two new talented people in the in the lab? Two new talented people? Do I have to explain everything? I'm talking about you and Paul. Who else could there be? I stare back in surprise. Are you saying I've earned your attention as much as Paul has? <clears throat> Instead of responding, Tom's expression turns sour and a moment later he looks away. Is he blushing again? I might have felt hurt by his reaction if I were meeting him for the first time. However, now I know better. Thanks for the compliment. It means a lot coming from a researcher with your talent and passion. Like I mentioned, Paul stopped by this morning to drop off some research materials. Living under the same roof with co-workers seems quite handy. It makes it easier to exchange information. Now that you've moved in, I'll have two people I can borrow books and articles from. That's it. Oh shit. Uh. <laughs> Darn nose. And Yoni. <laughs> ah. And the mere mention makes me yawn, girl. That's definitely one big advantage. I see Timo's lips curl upward. Wait, is he smiling? I blink several times while questioning my assessment. <laughs> Who could have guessed he would smile at such a casual remark? Along with the library, I'm sure you and Morgan both have plenty of books and articles I haven't read. It's a win-win situation all around. I'm glad to hear you see it that way. It's true. 
true, a smile really does soothe the soul. I feel incredibly at ease all of a sudden. Oh. This MC. In fact, I'm so at ease they almost let us right past our destination. Hold on a second, to know. The gym's this way. I think we should at least take a peek while we're here. What are you gonna do, MC? What are you making him do? I quickly stop Tomo before he passes through, then show him around inside. Oh, hi, Miguel. I didn't realize you were home. Oh, please. A swimmer like him? You know, Moth asked, please stay at a gym. And yes, this boy, this hot boy, is an athlete. <clears throat> hey, Cecilia, I finished up my errands and thought I would get my daily training routine out of the way. Let me see, you're Mr. Salmon, is that right? Fuck, I can't pronounce that name! Ah. Ugh. If anyone knows how to break the name down in the comments, please let me know. Or if YouTube is mean again by shutting off my comments, I'll make a text story because they don't block my comments there. So, or you could comment in the recent one and I'll take a look at it after this video uploads. And I'm at the, almost at the seven minute mark. This is going to be a long video. If I want to get the, the main five story tickets, I mean, but I'll break them into parts. Uh, yay, we got it. Okay. Oh, no. It's because my chat, chat is making it longer. Back. And we're... No, not barely the one story ticket. Uh, just two story tickets and then next video. Miguel seems to have no trouble remembering Timo from the welcoming party the other night. That's right. Starting today, he's going to be living here. Oh yeah. So you're our new neighbor, huh? Boy, things are just keep getting more and more exciting around here. In case you've forgotten, I'm Miguel Hernandez. Welcome to Lala Court. You're famous. How could I forget? Oh, and feel free to call me Timo. Come on now, you're starting to embarrass me. I don't suppose you're interesting, interested in working out. You too, Cecilia? Thanks, Miguel. Fuck, I said that in the question mark. Ah, uh, but no, he was complimenting the MC and this one. But we're in the middle of our walk through live port. Okay, then maybe next time. Sounds good. Perhaps I feel so inclined. Tomo doesn't sound very enthusiastic about it. However, when Miguel smiles at him, he nods back. Oh, cute. This is the court's library. What do you think? Pretty big, isn't it? Yes, it's an impressive collection. As a satisfied smile rises onto most lips. Is that our new neighbor? Her voice startles me. Naoki, I thought you said you were heading out. The person I, the person I was supposed to meet had to cancel. So instead, I'm trying to come up with some ideas for my next exhibition. Exhibition. Damn it. It's hard to say words. You are? Well, sorry for interrupting you. No problem. Here, let me introduce you. Oh no! Almost ten! What did I see? Oh, that's a Discord notification. I thought. Oh, is that a. Ah! No, 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 no! <gasps> no face reveal. I'm glad I wasn't in the shot this time. <sighs> Naoki, that this 
closest to Mo. He w he works at the same laboratory as I do. Yes, I remember him from Paul's welcoming party. That's right, Timo is the famous calligrapher on Naoki on Zumi. Nice to meet you. Come to think of it, Timo isn't one for chatting and Naoki's pretty shy. Maybe they do better versing over a cup of coffee or something. I don't suppose you two would like to go to the cafe. We could grab a cup of coffee and relax for a bit. Naku and Tama both not in agreement. I... When the three of us arrive at the cafe... Darn yawning. Lucas is there to welcome us. Woof! I can't do it. I'm on the For the life of me. Better hurry with the story ticket before I get to the night. To the rest. He immediately comes up to greet Tomo, excitedly wagging his tail. Long tail. Lucas, you'll never make a good watchdog. Welcome to Lila Court, Tomo. Tomo lets out a sigh as Lucas's behavior then cheerfully greets Tomo. Joy, are you back from shopping already? Yep. Yeah, just got home. Gather to Mo's a new neighbor we heard rumors about. That's right. Clever dog. Someone must have trained you well. Timo squats down to pet Lucas, completely ignoring Joy and myself. Oh, that's how you know he's an animal lover. Ah! You see? You see? I have eight more story tickets. I better hurry with the next video. Bye, Show It 8 fans.